Intel have partnered with Microsoft and Laplink to prepare for the fact that Windows 7 reaches end of life on the 14th of January 2020, which is less than a mere two months away. So they've made this PC Mover Express software, which will move all your files and settings from an old PC to a new PC. Now for the free version, there are a few system requirements. One, the old PC must run Windows 7. And two, the new PC must run Windows 10 version 1903 or later and have a sixth generation Intel processor or newer. And in addition, we must connect the two PCs together. So this can be done using an ethernet cable. So I'm doing this on an Optiplex 7010 and the new PC is an Optiplex 7040. However, if I was to use my Dell XPS 13 9365 as a new PC, it doesn't have an ethernet port. So I would need a USB type C to ethernet adapter. Or in some other cases, you would need a USB 3 to ethernet adapter as well. Okay, so let's have a look at my Windows 7 PC. As you see, I've got some files on the desktop and I've got a desktop background. I've got some files and documents, music, pictures, videos. And I also have some files directly on the C drive. And I have some files in downloads and I have some stuff in application data as well. Okay, so before I get started with the PC Mover software, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the control panel and go to hardware and sound and then to power options. And I'm going to change the power options so the computer doesn't go to sleep. And now I'm going to go ahead and install the PC Mover Express software. Okay, select next, accept the license agreement, select next, select next and then install. Now when you first launch a software, it will ask you to register an email and it won't let you proceed unless you register the software with an email. Basically, it's just a security check to make sure that both PCs are registered with the software using the same email. I've actually installed this software before, uninstalled it and then reinstalled it, so it doesn't show in this case. So let's just go to the new PC and I'm going to disconnect from the internet and then I'm going to change the power options here so it never goes to sleep either. And this is a completely fresh install, so there's nothing in desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, music, videos, and there's nothing added on C drive besides the normal Windows install and there's nothing in the application data folder either. Okay, so what I need to do is install PC Mover on this PC as well. And once again, select next, accept the license agreement. Don't create a shortcut icon unless you want one. Select next. Select next. And then finish. Now, select transfer between PCs. And this shows the registration screen, which wasn't shown on the Windows 7 computer. So I'll just put in my test email that I don't really use and I'll connect to the internet just to register the software. So both PCs are registered using the same email. And now I'm going to disconnect from the internet. So on the screen, I'm going to select next. 
and then I'm going to change the scan options. So I want to just use the Ethernet because it'll be slower over Wi-Fi. So let's just check the two options that both PCs have an Ethernet and then select back and now let's return to the old PC and change the settings so it's the same. So both PCs at this stage are not connected to the internet. Let's just select close because it timed out while sc scanning for the other computer. Right, so now I'm going to select scan again and it's found a new PC. And let's just select scan again here and it's found the it old PC. So what I can do now is select Analyze PC. So it will scan through the own PC and it will tell us what we can take from the own PC. So there will be some information notices above here and we can change the settings. So we can use standard recommended settings, file, only transfer or let me choose. And let's just have a look at advanced. So there's some settings like not to import two bars for browsers and things, which you can go through and change. And because we're using the free version, the setting for the applications is grayed out. So let's just go back and let's just use the standard recommended option and then select next. So it will take a moment just to calculate the transfer and the estimated time. And once ready, we can select start transfer and then we'll have the dialog box and we can select OK. So in my case, it's just a very small number of files. So it finished very, very quickly. However, if you've been using your computer for 10 years, you're probably going to have a lot more files than that. So once done, you'll be prompted to restart the computer. And as you see, the desktop background has been applied and the file on the desktop is there. The files in downloads are there. The files in documents are there. The files in pictures are there. The files in music are there. The files in videos are there. The files directly on the C drive are there as well. And also the files in application data have been copied across. No applications themselves have been copied across because it's the free version. 